Hey guys, my name is Frank Episella, and tonight we're going to go over H tags, H1, H2, H3, H4, etc., and SEO, and what basically is the fuss about H tags and SEO. Um, so, what is an H tag? This is an H tag, H1, H2, H3. So, you know, and then let's say we have paragraph, 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 you know, and within H2. Okay, so, or just let me start over. So here's the H1 tag. The H1 tag should be the title of the page. You only have, you only should have one H tag, one H1 tag. I'm sorry, one H1 tag per page. It, you should not have more than one H1 tag at all. It should not be like that. Um, your title tag and your H1 tag should be similar or relevant or you know, even the same in some cases. Um, your, your main keyword should be in this H1 tag towards the beginning. So let's say I'm doing web design inspiration, you know, and then I have, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of text here, and then I have um, idea number one, and then in idea number one I have uh, uh, website, uh, or whatever, you know, just uh, something under idea one, um, which would be like a sub category for idea number one. And category for idea number one, and then, so that's how I would break that up, and then I have H2 idea number two, you know, and so forth, and then idea number three. So this is basically, if you want to have a lot of H tag ones per page, this is basically, you, you need to go from H1, which which uh, encompasses the whole um, page, and then H2 would be um, you know, a subcategory of web design inspiration, and then H3 would be a subcategory of the subcategory of the main page. So really, you really need to break it down from more broad to more specific and it's the same thing on your website you know you want to have the home page kind of a broad overview of what the site is and then as you go to a category page it's more specific and then you actually go to a post or a specific page and there's a specific keyword <coughs> and then within that page there's that specific keyword in the h1 tag and then uh, things related to that specific keyword or subcategories of that specific keyword are under different H tags. So, um, and then another thing I see a lot, which is kind of like, just bugs the heck out of me. Excuse me. Um, let me just open up a website real quick. I apologize. What's my home page? Okay, my home page is Apple. So let's say, you know, you have your, uh, you know what, this is going to be because there's so much stuff on this site. Let me just go to a more simple website, which is one sidebar. Okay, so here's a website. There's one sidebar, and then so here's my H1 tag, right? Move to cloud-based services, and then this is an H2 tag. Move into the cloud. Move to the cloud. Cloud service models. You know, the H2 tag. So these are underneath, um, you know, H1, H2, and then the, the title of the page is Move to cloud-based services. Um, but one thing I see that people do, you know, this is H1, this is H2, they have in their sidebar, they have this, this is, you know, this is, if this is an H1, when Google searches this site, it's going to be like, okay, what's the site about? This is an H1 tag, but this is also an H1 tag. So is this move to cloud-based services, get a quote, are those related, this and that, it just confuses, and it's, it's going to mess up with your ranking. So anything in the sidebar that isn't really, that, you know, directly related, just pretty much anything in a sidebar, even if it is related, you do not want to have, you know, these in H tags. You want to just do like a span um, or whatever, and um, or a strong, and just basically go into the CSS and change, give it a class and change this specifically. Uh, so if you see here, these are not. I really hope. I hope I change it. Yeah, so if you see your span class widget title too, you know, and so I go in there and then I have for um, span dot widget title two, and I have all of these different things for that particular. Uh, but here, that's an H three tag, okay. Um, however, I broke this down, so this is H one, H three, 
it is what it is. You know, they should really be H two technically, but uh, basically that's that's it for H tags. It really, they're becoming less and less important. So, you know, it's good. It's a good practice just to break it down like that. Don't have many sidebars and just make the H one tag and have your keyword in it. And you guys will be good. It's really not that part of a concept. But uh, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. Uh, have a good night.